Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Floppy Nights. We are in the Science Fair chapter. Let us go on in here. Let's see what we can do here. If we can win the Science Fair against an established scientist, yes, of course. It's time for round two of the Gadget Cup. Contestants must protect their beacons from oncoming aggressors. As they say, the best offense is good defense. We've got this. We got, I don't know why I said it in my voice. I spoke for you. I'm sorry. I seem to be hearing some chants for our contestant Phoebe from the spectators. Do you hear that? I think we're sitting, starting to get some fans in the audience, Phoebe. Well, let's give them a show. I am going to be famous. Monster. You better believe it. We, you give me a new deck, I'm going to play the new deck. So we got to defend our podiums. Defend at least one beacon for 10 turns. Let me guess. The thing is, yep. Defend both beacons is the extra. Where? Oh, it's over here. Hmm. So we're going to get the ability to do, like, the super dash. I think we put him here so we can try and bull rush him in. He takes one self-damage, draw two cards. Yes, absolutely. Takes two self-damage, gains an attack. I feel like that's just very worth it, right? Charge on in. How much attack you got right now? How much you get up to? Five attack. Ugh. All right. That's a bummer. That's actually a pretty big bummer. Attack an enemy and boost. I wanted to be able to get a kill on that, but... I'm assuming this won't get us there. It will not. I guess maybe if we get payback... Does payback payback their payback? <laughs> does payback payback their payback like an inscription? Uh, I'm not sure. Most games cancel out that kind of an infinite, but I'm not so sure. I want to go for Seed Sword first, just in case. We can obviously get uh, attacked back here. I'm assuming if he dies... Yeah, we cannot get paybacked. What? Okay, so Budding Sword now costs two, though. It turns into a stronger version of itself? I, w I don't know if I would go out of my way to say that one more damage for one extra energy is strictly better. Okay, I'm concerned about what's going to come out of here. If this is bats, then we need to protect over here. How much damage do you do? You do four? And I'm guessing you do what? You do one. Uh, we'll scoot you over closer towards here for now, then. We're obviously in danger, but guess what? This hero is kind of about danger. I need to get up there and protect that. That's going to be very sketchy. Son of a gun's got 12 health. I don't know how I'm going to do that, especially if I didn't draw another unit. I have one, two, three, four. I have four units. I have four units in my deck, and I didn't draw any of them. Oh, that's painful. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so... Gains 2 HP, and then plus 1 attack, or plus 1 speed. This is... This is not gonna be great. Our attack damage is pretty crazy. We could get it up to 9. We can move... We can move, move... Maybe get his attention over there. Like, this is going to take a long time to take this guy out. This will not take that long. Not really. We can move, move up into the forest. Maybe even stepping on this. Can you hit me there? You cannot. You can. And I'll tell you what. Maybe it's fine if we get hit. It might be fine. How much damage would we get to? We would go all the way up to... We'd get minus four. Hit two. We'd get plus six attack. Ah, the math, the math on this. We have three base attack. So we got plus two. So three base attack plus... We would be down to two. We'd get six. We'd be doing nine damage. We need to attack twice. That's feasible. That's feasible. It's dangerous as hell, but it's feasible. We can't get attacked by you. We can get attacked by you, but that's okay. Alternatively, we walk up there and we get a first attack in right now. 
which is maybe a better way of doing this. Because this is not spawning next turn, it's spawning on... It's, it's not spawning this turn, it's spawning on the next turn. Also, now we can feasibly get out of range of that as well. We do need to spawn something over there and move them to the left ASAP. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Oh, we don't have any heals or anything. Every time a unit takes damage this turn, gain an energy draw card. I don't know if I can really handle that right now. Troublemaker costs two. I don't know what motivate does. Instigate does target friendly takes one damage. And then flips to motivate. I don't know what I don't know what motivate does. I wish I knew. Uh, we obviously have the kill here. We could kill. Kill, move, kill. We're down to one, which sucks. But that's maybe fine. You know what? Let, let's go big and also end up eventually in certainly going home because this is this is some dumb stuff right here. Going down to... But we don't go down to one because he doesn't attack back. That's right. That's right. Also, it, theoretically, theoretically we should have done this. Hmm. Hmm. So instigate is free. Unit gains plus one speed and plus one attack this turn. This turn. I would like press the attack. I'm kind of bummed that we're getting it this turn, though. Not really that great for us. All right. Next turn looking mighty gross. If it's only that guy, that bat... Wait, this spawns these? I thought it would spawn bats. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not so bad. Draw a card, gain an energy. Somebody was very, very confused. They're like, I can't stand how he uses that card first. He loses so many cards. What are you talking about? It replaces itself. What card do you think it's discarding, you goof? Oh, man. It sometimes. But, yeah, it's just, it makes sense to use that first always, literally always. It's a very good card. I think it's getting nerfed. I would imagine it's getting nerfed. I saw something on Twitter. Uh, uh, kind of about that. <laughs> I'm curious. All right. All right. What do we do here? You're kind of a concern. You're a bit of a concern. You can move up their attack. So this is in two turns now. <laughs> Nine. Nine damage! I don't have another attack. Otherwise, I would go for this. Oof. I'm liking... Well, I'll tell you what. Ooh, attack enemy adds strike. There we go. Go here, do a little bit of bull rush. Attack and then boost it, though. I mean, I, I don't know what else I'm really doing unless I wanted to go for barrel cacks. I don't, I don't feel like I need it. I want to see what this does. Okay, so it still costs two. Gotcha. Still costs two. But now it does plus two. That makes a lot more sense. Ten turns? Are you going to... Wait, do you cross the water? Okay, if you cross the water, that's a little bit spooky. How much movement do we have? Three. I could get a kill. I, I think this is worth. This is a little sketchy up there now. I don't know, man. I especially don't know now. That was just that was just not correct. But heal two, I still kill. Play this anyways. Just 
just in case. Just in case I'm wrong. Makes sense. But yeah, we should have done bang, bang, bang. Attack, bang, bang. I was saw the blink. We go for that. Not good. Not good. I literally can't use this on anybody but you, which we've learned is a bad... It's just a bad move because... Our bonus attack from Fury is based off of missing max HP. It's not based off of damage taken, so... The good news is, whatever spawns here, we should be able to insta-kill. bad news is that. We can go in the water. It's, it's not lava. It ain't lava. Let me double-check this here. 4-8. 7 pack. We're good. Motivate Instigate. I'm just letting this happen. I, I don't really care about that. It's not worth going down there for. We only have one move. Motivate does not give us the ability to move. Whatever. Whatever. We still have the same amount of attack there, right? Yes, we do. Motivating instigate, we could. We could go for a little bit of branch out. Where are you going to go? That That's really the big question. Where is that son of a gun going to go? Because if I go up here and I step in this spot, it's, it doesn't really help me. Maybe we start moving somebody else out. How much damage did you do? Four attack, three speed, one range. I mean, that's pretty good. It's not bad. This is going to be rough, though. I don't care about that. The bat can go up there. As long as there's not two bats on the side. Oh, no, 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 no. It was good that we were covering that up. Oh, no, no, no. So, two extra tiles means we can move up to... We could do here. We could we could get over there. We could attack you. Would it really help us? Yeah. Yeah, it would. We get a kill. Because we do have it. I never think of this as an attack card. Something about it visually doesn't... Doesn't quite read attack to me. This could probably re be removed from our deck as well. I would like if you came down and attacked me, but I don't really I don't really predict that's going to happen. Let's turn it around. Seven? All right, we're good. We we've won. We've won, baby. It's fine. This is even probably fine, too. How much you do? Two. Yeah. I think it's impossible at this point. I just want more number. Bigger number. Attack with plus two. You can't do it there. Uh -huh. Hit you with the smack. This is wizard boys. I could get the wizard out of the way, I I, I guess. Take a lot of a lot of resources. Man, we just got a one unit juggernaut. You know what? Ugh! Three plus three? What the heck? Not quite as good as it seems, you know? The fact that it gets expensive with it makes it not as worth it. I feel like maybe it would be okay if it stayed at two mana, right? Two energy? I think that'd be fine. Oh, let's go. We kind of want to bait this thing to stay on that tile, don't we? 
kind of don't want to kill. We don't want to kill. Here, come, come hang out. It's turn 10. That should stay there. I'd be shocked if it didn't. That stops it from spawning the uh, the ogre, which is actually a concern. Nothing else is. Theoretically, I hit end turn here and I win, right? Oh, uh, maybe not. You know what? Good. We, yeah, we might as well just, just heal him up. We should be fine. <laughs> Do more damage. Heal him up. And turn. All right. Enemies go. They'll try. They have one more turn to try and break the beacons. It's not even gonna be close. How do you even? How do you even lose both beacons? <laughs> how do you even lose both beacons on this map? How is it possible? You could just turtle one of them. How is it possible? Oh, Behemoth. Flying Armored One add Whirlwind. Only got one health, though. Can't do a whole lot of self-damage on it. Wow, round two was a lot tougher. Had no idea the catch cup was so intense. Getting nervous yet, Phoebes? You're playing with the big dogs now. Snarlton and I could do this in our sleep. We made it through round two easy. Well, we'll just see who makes it to the finals, Alex. As you humans say, it's not about the journey, it's about the destination. Carlton, that's not the saying at all. He's right, it is all about the destination. The destination is me on the Winniers, Winniers podium, holding up my gadget cup trophy. Break a leg in round three. Try not to choke. <laughs> okay. Come on, Carlton, let's show who the real winners are. That one was, yeah, that one was quite easy. I'm going to do a little bit of a deck adjustment. I must say... Monster. Okay. Do I want the Troublemaker in? Three HP instigates. Oh, it's not bad. It's really not bad. But I will tell you, irrigation can probably go. Adaptation could maybe go. Blight can. Blight can go. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we just have a slightly thinner deck instead. That might be a better a better situation. I'll see what else we can maybe craft. Attack an enemy for plus two damage and then destroy this. I mean, a second Quiver Kid is fun. Add one charge to your hand for each unit. Ooh. Ooh, that's just a good card all around. That, this um, this in the other deck we were making. I'm crafting this like with a no-brainer. Uh, I'm gonna slap this one in this deck, in the green deck, because the issue with this one is we couldn't really move all of our units at the same time. This is like a this is a two mana move every unit once. That's great. That's that. That's incredible. That that makes this deck viable. That alone makes this deck viable. I mean, not that <laughs> we were winning anyways, and it's not like this is a competitive scene or anything like that. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's just really good. And the thing is, you can use all the charges on the same unit too. You don't have to use one other units. But that that alone is incredible. Put that bad boy in there. Do we get rid of them? Do we put in the moth? Attack all adjacent enemies. That's a good card. Probably destroys after if I were to guess. Otherwise, that's too strong. Is it? Maybe it's not. I mean, it depends on the cost. If it's one cost, it's really strong. But you do have to play Behemoth first, which costs two. So it doesn't really cost one. It kind of costs one. I'm not sure. I don't know if it destroys or not. Hmm. 
Uproot's tempting. Hmm. Behemoth, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think we say no. I... I'd like it in another deck, maybe. Doesn't make... Doesn't make sense in the mass unit deck either with the heals because it only has one health. So I don't, that's just a strange one. It's a strange one. It's really good. I bet you if we were just playing like, you know, what deck it'd be good in? It'd be good in like the base starting deck with the uh, com what is it, Commander Thistle or whatever. Just like a put down unit that is scary kind of a deck. But one second, let me check something. All right. All right, folks, it's time for round three. It's the last round before the finals. The stakes and the difficulty are higher than ever before. Only the best inventions are getting out of this round in one piece. All right, Carlton, we're so close. Let's win that trophy. Nothing's going to keep us from the finals. Let's go monster. Monstar. To win this battle, defeat all of the enemy. Well, fair enough. BB, this deployment zone has a strange exclamation point on it. I don't know what that means. Let's use it and find out. Uh, deployment zone with an exclamation symbol can only be used one time. Oh, wait, look down there. A regular deployment zone. It looks like our units will be split up for this one. And for your commander, we will save you. Um? It's fine, actually. Let's think that. Um... Ooh. You do four. That's pretty rough. And I can't even branch out. Ah! I can get a kill. Move, attack, attack. And that's maybe... That's probably good enough. Right? Are you fine up here, Mr. Commander? We take four, uh, two. That, it's, honestly, that's kind of good for us to take two, sure. I think it's more important to me get the, get the kill on this. That was a mistake. Do we just, you know what? I'm gonna hit that with a retry. I should have used the move and pay, uh, move and gain payback. That's what I intended there. Let's just redo that one. Let's just redo that one. And now we know about this. Not that it's going to change anything, because we don't actually get to... I mean, maybe we could have... I wonder. Could we have spawned down there? Maybe we could have. Quiver Kid does two. We get pressed the attack. Which is really good. Okay, we go bang. 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 Obviously should have gone for this one first, but hey, I'll take it. It's fine. Troublemaker. I'm happy to I'm happy to get that down here, probably. Unless we want a tree folk. Let's let's get that. It's such a good card. It's such a good card. We only have one attack. Uta Bull Rush. I don't really want to be cornered, so I guess this is fine. This is an interesting map, though, being so cornered like that. And it also has spawns. It has a lot of spawns going on. Two up there. I don't know if there's any down here. There are not. This is going to be something. Can we not cross right here? We can't. Okay, definitely gonna go for this. Moving unit restore. Attack an enemy boost. We could try that. Move, attack, attack. 
Or we could just go over here and move into this range. Whoops. Do you have four movement? Do. We shouldn't get paybacked. Correct. So yeah, that goes back into our hand immediately, which we might use to our advantage here. Up top. Hmm. We have four attack, so it's not even a, it's not even enough. We can move attack, attack, I guess. I, I suppose, right? What else would we do? Barrel Cactus? I could. Honestly, he, he's better at 5 health than he is at 7. Yeah, let it happen. If you want him, come and claim him! I think we're better at 5. Obviously, we don't want to go too ham on that idea, just like sack it, like all of the health, but pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, it's pretty good. And charge for a unit, probably. So we're doing six damage now, which is enough to get anything we want. Speed, happy with that. Oh, I don't have a second attack! I don't have a second attack! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! You can move four, so we could go move attack, move into this corner. It's getting kind of gross if we do it that way, though. But we can't handle it otherwise. Yeah, we need help up there. Oof. Oof. And take two. Is that fine? Otherwise, we take two up here. I think that's fine. Well, I suppose we might as well rally. And we can move back once <laughs> one space. Cool. Way past cool. And then I think this is just we're going to get hit, but we're going to hit by that once for one damage. I don't really care. I'll keep the charge. Or well, it deletes, so it, it also uh, it fades if we don't use it. It fades if we use it. It fades if we don't. Fade if you do. Fade if you don't. Don't like our HP situation. I do like that that guy's staying still. That makes my life a lot easier. Oh, that makes my life a lot easier. Okay. Okay. I think we got we gotta do this a little bit. A little spicy. Move here. There we go. Very spicy. Don't mind it. This is obviously less stellar. This should... Oh, you can still hit me. No. Well, honestly, it's not that big of a deal if you do two damage on this guy, and then we'll just keep him away. It's really not that big of a deal. Death's door is not dead. 
We do need to get some action going on here because we cannot cross over to the right-hand side with our commander. So we're going to need to get some actual unit action in there. Troublemaker seems like a great way to do so. Such a logical choice there. Get up to four attack. Could we attack you three times now? One, two, three. Okay, so one, two. You got three move. One, two, three. So one, two, because of natural defense. Bull rush, that's three. Free attack. Mm. Angry. God, this is... It's, it, wait. So, natural defense, bull rush puts us at three. Angry puts us at four. Free attack. Press the attack strike. Yes, we actually do have it. I think... Because strike should be free. It should be free! It should be free! Oh, it's huge. Obviously, this is very dangerous. <laughs> this is oh, mega dangerous. It's fine. We just have to handle the bats slowly over time, so we're gonna need to get, like, one heal in there at some point. Yeah, th this I knew was gonna be kinda gross. Do we want to hit the bridge? Hmm. Lots of charge. We could get a new cactus in town. Then rally. It goes an even further away for us. Sure. You do four still. Yes, sir. Cactus juice. Move mostly for the heal there. All right. Wait, what am I doing with that? I was thinking that we would... I'll tell you what, this is just fine. No, let's just go back there. <laughs> Charge is going to get deleted anyways. But that was obviously <laughs> not not a good call. I thought I had a free attack still. I wasted my free it well used my free attack on the uh, move to the left there. And once we hit the button, it's permanently down. Okay, I, I've never actually hit the button. I haven't felt compelled. The button had not compelled. All right. Hear me out, we got this. Four. It's expensive, but we got it. We got the scariest fool, Dunzo. Okay, you can hit us here. Well, will you though? One, two, three. If we're standing here, you're gonna stay. You can go one, two, three. You can't. You can't hit us. There. Why does it say he can? Either way, I'm fine with it. I think that's a really good spot to stay. Yeah, I like it. I, I like it. Just moving all the hell the way up there. You should stay and block that. Which is going to be one of the more annoying things, is if that keeps spawning things. You shouldn't actually be able to hit me. That's what I was... Yeah, that's what I was... I didn't think so. Get a double smack. We do this right. Yeah. Pain the game before, because we are going to get paybacked. Uh, well, maybe if it's... Okay, no, I was thinking maybe if it's backup damage, it doesn't pay back us. Alright. 
smooth. Clean. What was the second? Wait, what was the secondary objective? I didn't even look. Oh, hey, 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 Chucky. Six health, armor two, pull attacks, add unstoppable force. Now that is a little bit more this deck's jam. We need something with a, a health pool more like at least four. Right. That's right, folks. Phoebe has officially completed round three. And would you look at that? It appears the third challenge was too daunting for some of our fan favorites. Barry's hydraulic hose horses and Jane's daunting little flipper robot have been defeated. Wow, I cannot believe we made it further than the little flipper. Do you get a look at the thing? It looked like it could flip a bridge troll. I'd be more worried about going up against the hydraulic ho horses myself. Eh, ah, people in this town make some weird stuff. Science is so cool. Don't get all nerdy on me now, Carlton. I need you to focus. We're left with just three inventors going to the finals. Who could they be? Stick with us. It's going to be an exciting one. I wonder. Destroy the opponent's beacons. Don't lose any units. Mm. Armor gains... Wait, what? Unit gains one armor boost. Huh. That, okay, that alone makes it so something like the moth is more viable. Unit takes one self damage, gain an energy. Oh, that's a good card. Let's just save for that. That's a good card. All right. Add you. Maybe remove the troublemaker? Maybe? I don't know what unstoppable force is or does. Or wants or is or feels or thinks. And now for the final round of the Gadget Cup Tournament. Our finalists are Alex with her genetically enhanced battle slimes. Get ready for pounding. Rowan with her hive-minded robotic turrets. Hello, fans. And Phoebe with her floppy knights. You ready to cinch this one, Carlton? My hard drives are partitioned and I'm ready to rock and roll. The opponents will fight in a battle royale, trying to attack the other opponent's beacons while simultaneously protecting their own. Wish them luck in the final battle. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, these are definitely going to be some that we will go up against, right? More. To win this battle, destroy Rowan's beacon and destroy Alex's beacon. And make sure they don't destroy your beacon. What the hell? It's so far up there! Huh. Just making sure. Making sure. Ugh. Ugh, part two. I mean... I need to start getting lower HP really fast here. And that's a way I can start to do that. We need to we need a blitz because we need to get up there. ASA pronto. Okay, here's the thing. These guys are probably not gonna go for my towers though, are they? No. Gotcha. Only these and these, I'm pretty confident, right? Oh, if we had a flying unit, we could just fly over the wall and step on their tile. Ah, yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. There's three com or four completely separate teams going on here. Okay, Quiver Kid. Quiver Kid is going to be a very good put down right here. We get the free attack there. Not as, not as crazy as I had hoped. You can move. Bull rush. What should we do? We do six. We can actually happily go for move strike. Get a kill. 
bridge is down. Have to deal with that. We can maybe claim this, absorb somebody back up into our hand. Ooh, absorb Quiver Kid. Get another Quiver Kid ability. We got this in the bag. We're fine. We're fine. All right, bring it, bring it, bring it. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care for the bat. It's it's obviously it's sketchy, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Um, slightly annoying. I can't believe charge. I can't. I cannot believe it. It's so good. Quiver Kid for the extra attack there. Go in with the... Oh, I meant... No, oh, no, no. That might make a difference. What do we, we do five? Ooh, that does not make a difference, thankfully. Thankfully, it doesn't make a difference. Because uh, press the attack is fundamentally kind of busted, man. I kind of want to just kill all these just for the fun of it. Oh, man. This side is a little more scary. I imagine they're ranged, right? Okay. Another rally. I mean, sure. Let's run over here, get our free attack. I don't really need to worry that much about the bat. It's not that big of a deal. I wonder if all their units are going to get destroyed the second we... Uh... Also, why do I even care about this one? We should be going for this first. It was because of the way the layout was. It was just the easier one to get to. All right. One attack card and this beacon is down on the left and it's gone immediately. You can go for it. Go for it. I don't really care. Keep on chopping away. Oh my god, a press the attack too. And another press the attack. I wish I had more movement. Freebie. Yeah, how much damage do you do? You do three. It's it's nothing to scoff at. But we're gonna get the uh, the dash next turn, and hopefully that'll be good enough. I wish I could get a free attack on somebody. All right, we'll see. I might be able to win next turn. I actually like if I get the right draw, I win next turn. If we, I don't know if it's feasible for us to get a press the attack. I don't think it's possible. This is our draw, right? Yeah. It's not possible. Press the attack would do it, more or less. Because we can make it there with uh, our dash, our charge. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, come on! So much movement. Bonk. I guess I don't know what else. Move with extra speed equal to your armor value. I don't really I don't care. At this point, it just makes the most... Oh, wait. Are they not going to even go for me? 
Are they not gonna go for me? They might not. Huh. Interesting. At least it, it doesn't show the danger radius when I hit this. They may tunnel vision over to my... Yeah, I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Somebody else's turn. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Just one attack. Literally one attack. We win. One attack. We win, baby. Let's go. Wow. Big Mad is kind of busted. And by kind, I mean Big Mad is very busted. Jessica. Armored 4, Cycle Tactical Advance. I, I, I'll admit I'm very curious. All right. We are victorious. All right. We are victorious. There we go. Ah, not again. I worked all night to fix these. They were perfect. Always two steps behind me, as usual. How does it feel to be the beacon uh, beaten by the real deal, Snarlton? If I had blood, it would be boiling right now. This isn't over, Phoebes. I will not rest until I've proven that I'm better than you. Snarlton, let's go. We have work to do. Uh, well, that'll keep her angry for a while. Phoebe, those floppy nights, are they're amazing. How'd you come up with something so astounding? Oh, you want to know how they work? Well, it's a little complicated, but basically I sequence elemental magic into code. It allows Carlton here to make digital, digital projections and make them tangible through compiling together elemental magic to create their forms. Take the second kicker, for instance. He mo he's mostly water and earth magic sequenced together. It takes a figure now to get the balance right when I'm designing each night, but they all function pretty efficiently. Aha, you sound like such a nerd. That's why... That's, ab ab that's absolutely genius, Phoebe. Oh gosh, I mean, it's nothing compared to what you do. No, I'm serious, I've never heard of anything like this before. If you ever find yourself near Steel Shore Coast, come and see me, and I'd love to pick your brain about your little inventions. Wow, for real? Real kid, I'll see you around. Are you evil? Phoebe, that's so neat. Rowan wants to hang out with us. Steel Shore Coast is like the epicenter of the technological development. I can't believe she invited me. Baby, not only did you save yourself, sorry, save our event from Volcanic Doom, but you also won the Gadget Cup. It's time to claim your trophy. Is there no cash? Is it just a trophy? Wow, we really did it. GG, GG. We're so cool, haha. -ha. Could have done without you, buddy. We, everyone is cheering for us. What should we do now? We got the cash? Let's go spend it. I think we'll be taking some time off of work. Well, there you go. Never mind. Actual happy ending in the middle. Whittlewoods. Interesting. All right. Well, well, freaking well. I do want to know what Je what Jessica is as far as a unit. Oh, yeah, we knew. Oh, tactical advance is what I wanted to know. Move a unit plus two armor if the unit has zero armor. Oh, well, that's really good. I mean, if it's a, um, if that's a one cost, that's kind of busted. If it's a two cost, well, no, no, no. Okay. If it's a one cost, it's not like super busted because they have to have zero armor. They have to have zero armor. I feel like that, if that's a one cost, it's a fun card and I like it. That's pretty interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But alas, alas, that is that. And that is going to do it here for today for Floppy Nights. We will see if we are back again tomorrow for another episode or not. I would like to, but we'll see uh, based off of how the videos do. It could be back. It could not be back. I wanted to at least do four videos here and give them all a fighting chance in the algorithm before, uh, you know, I'd ever really get slapped in the face <laughs> and told, no, people don't want to watch it. So let me know, comment down below, share it with anybody you think might be interested. I think this game is fantastic and I think it deserves a lot of recognition and support and love. So please, if we are done, uh, which I don't want to be, go support this game, continue to support this game, uh, give it love everywhere. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.